So Apple finally did it and they have actually released their new headphones. In a previous video, I talked about the possibility that I think that Beats will be dead after Apple releases headphones, which they did. I called, well, people called these headphones the Apple Studio headphones. But Apple decided they want to name them something else, something confusing, and they named them the AirPods Max. And I looked at the product, uh, they released it in a silent way, which is unusual, but I guess because of the price point of this device, you don't really want to make a big fuss about it. And they released their new AirPods Max. I thought, for the name's sake, I thought they would stick to the Beats branding, because Beats is a very popular headphone brand, and they would borrow the name Studio and then attach Apple's name to it, so it would be Apple Studio headphones or something like that. But they chose to stick with the consistency of the AirPods tagline. So AirPods, AirPods Pro, and now AirPods Max. But it's a bit confusing where you have the AirPods Pro not being the best and then you have the AirPods Max because previously when we saw Max, it was preceded by Pro. So iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's not just Max. And uh, it's really interesting that they int introduced this product, but the weird thing is its price. It's priced at $550. Apple's recent releases were, I wouldn't say cheap, but were value for money. And I'm speaking about the iPhone 12s and the new MacBooks with the new M1 chip. So these devices, everyone was very happy with the performance they're getting out of their hard earned money. And um, one thing that was strange to me is, of course, the, 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 the Beats brand is not only now cheaper than the Apple brand, but also lacks all of the features of the Apple headphones. So it lacks the spatial audio and the unique design. Well, the design, we'll come back to it. But, you know, Beats, what's the point of Beats? I thought it was going to be the more budget-friendly Apple you know, audio market, or maybe they die, I'm not sure. When I saw these devices, design-wise, they look premium. They look like something not every person would buy. And I think that's the target audience here, the, the, the elite of the elite. The, the most expensive products are only reserved for these who are, uh, well, willing to bring out the cash and hurt their wallets to get the most premium Apple headphones. But according to early reviews, some people got their hands on these headphones and some people already shared their opinion. They say they're good, but they're not worth the price. So now you have Apple releasing devices in two ways. One is the budget-friendly way and one is the ultra-premium gadgets. So you have that, you have the a XDR display and you have so many like the the wheels that there are on Apple's website so many expensive things that are probably not going to be bought by so many people and um, this demand for something is reflected on what consumers think of a company and when something is uh, hyped up too much i think that's why they didn't release that um, that head these headphones with the iPhone event, for example, because if you do that, you introduce so much hype into a product that is so expensive, where you can find an alternative that is much better elsewhere. The hype of a thing might kill it, especially in the case of something that was released um, maybe a few days ago now, Cyberpunk 2077. That's, you know, the most hyped game since forever they've been in development for years on end and they finally got released on everywhere. PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox... No, forget that, no, Xbox 360. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the previous Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X. And even you can play them on a browser on Stadia. But because this game had so much hype, Everyone now is criticizing the performance and the bugs and the issues. And sometimes you want to release a product in a, in a low-key fashion just because if it had flaws or 
if if there are alternatives that are better than it it just goes under the radar and you know you you move on with your life but in the case of apple they released it silently and it's in their website the new headphones 550 dollars i don't think anyone in his right mind would pay 550 dollars for you know value for money if you're paying 550 dollars you're definitely paying that apple tax to be one of the top of the top basically you just have the most expensive audio accessory from apple 